In order to pull this off, I'm going to have to have two of these out because they're organized slightly differently. So in this little zip fizz container is one of the nicest early stage prototypes that uh, I made. This one I sanded the whole outside just to frost it a little bit, make it look a little bit better. Here you can kind of see some of the teeth that were machined in with a, a Dremel tool and a little diamond wheel. You can see the, the ring that's ground in from the outside to hold the, the CCD in place. And this has a funky CCD design that I was messing around with. So you have a built-in CCD, in other words, built-in well, chamber. Well, all of the original glass vap caps did. So this little guy here, where you can see that the, uh, the screen looks a little copper because it's again made out of that copper phosphorus uh, alloy. And you can see the little slits that are cut in it. So that uh, if I turn it sideways, so you can see it's kind of domed up. So you'd put the screen in from the bottom and when it hit the little groove that was ground in the glass, it would just kind of stick in there and resist force from this direction because of the arch. Uh, but it was put a long ways down so you could actually take that cigarette, stick it right inside the inside of the tube, because the cigarette's typically about eight millimeters outside diameter, and then just snap it off. And then you'd place uh, your cap over the top so when you're heating it up, you weren't bringing any flame in contact and lighting it on fire. This is what one of the original VAP caps was, looked like uh, for use with tobacco. That looks like a prototype that doesn't look like Oh, yeah, I've never sold this one. Didn't, didn't ever sell any of the ones that have the, uh, the shaped glass mouthpiece. This is what most people would think about when I think about an original glass VAP cap. You got the, uh, the old logo cap that when you look at the cap, you, it's not great. Although this one was probably laser cut, so this one doesn't look terrible. I remember handing these to people He's like, hey, try this out. And most of them are like, what is that? Well, it's a small vaporizer. And there's a lot of confused looks. Like, well, what? What's a vaporizer? Back in 2012, 2013, it, not that they hadn't been around, they just weren't very common. And the few people that knew that they existed knew that they were big, and most of them plugged into the wall because battery technology was not very good. They certainly weren't this size. They were much, much bigger. And then uh, it generally required uh, a demonstration of how it actually functioned. And then uh, I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty neat. What was the performance like with this, oh. this glass piece? As long as the diameter of the glass was just right, the performance was pretty comparable to, I'd say, you know, what the earlier AMS was like. Just like today, it's difficult to get people to shift from lighting things on fire and inhaling the smoke to trying a different method and enjoying it much more.